Well, today we are at the auction house, and we're going to be picking up some items that we purchased at auction, and then I'm going to take you guys to the Goodwill. So, I'm really excited about some of these items. Our total spend at the auction this week was right around $6,000, which is a lot of, a lot of money. I think, actually, that's probably the most we've ever spent at auction, but we got some really, really amazing horrend pieces um and they sell anywhere from 800 to 1200 dollars a piece so i'm really excited about that i'm going to bring you guys inside and give you a peek at um some of the stuff we're going to have coming to our ebay store and then we'll go check out the goodwill so let's head in here we go my family calls it my superpower it's my ability to see value in things that i can buy and flip for a profit i'm the crazy wife lady and welcome to my channel So here's the lamp that I got. I kind of suspected it might be Hager. I didn't realize it had a boo-boo there on the side though. That's kind of a bummer. I guess it's got a few. But it's a really nice piece. I like the contrast between the black and the pink. And then I also bought this lot here. It's got two Lucite candles. And then it has these. And those are just crazy looking. So I bought this beautiful mermaid here, absolutely stunning. I think I paid 500 and something for her. Um, she sells for about 800 to 1200 as well. And then we've got this guy, and he's just huge. And the rhino, the panther here, I think he's a panther, and the little gorilla. Some of the peach opalescent that I purchased. I think I only spent like $35 on all three pieces. I love this a lot more than the Marigold because it has that opalescence around the edge. All of this milk glass um, for $25. It has the silver crest down in there. It's got some hobnail. It was only $25. Bucks. Um, we got this lot. Here's some beautiful stretch glass. It's a pink stretch glass. It looks like it might have a crack. It's really pretty. And this was the piece that I just had to have. And I bought it for myself. You guys know I collect spun glass faces. I've never seen this color before. It's a green opalescent. And it was just absolutely stunning. And I can't remember if we paid $400 or $500 for it. Um, but it's going into my own collection. And I was just so thrilled. Um, I knew I knew I was going to... I was gonna have this because it's one color I don't have and I've never seen before. Do you remember how much we paid for this? Um, five hundred. Five hundred, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, I love it so much though. And we'll make our money back on the stuff that we sell. And you got all of these little. These are uh, tavern pipes and other little relics. He builds little relic boxes to put in his booth at the antique mall. Um, so these will be great for that. Some nice pieces. It looks like Doug pieces. Yeah, it's all from the Thames River. Oh, it's from the Thames. Yeah. Oh wow. I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a nice uh, display case with all of it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And then I'll sell the display case once it's all put together. That's fantastic. There's some really nice uh, slip decorations. Yeah. Uh, there. Yeah. There is. Pottery in there and some square nails and whatnot. But I just thought it was cool. Now the other thing too is the tobacco pipes. Yeah. And you can tell the age of the pipe by the size of the bowl. The smaller the bowl, mm -hmm. the older the pipe, because tobacco was more expensive. Yes. So the later the later the pipe, the, the bigger the bowl. This is an early bowl. Yeah. That's an early pipe bowl. That's probably 1600s. That's crazy. Got some pottery down here. That one's a lot nicer than I thought. I was looking at pictures, and I can see that the bottom is signed. I can't really make it out though. It's a beautiful piece. And then this was actually the reason I bought the lot is because this beautiful crystalline mug. Um, oh, it's Edgecombe pottery. <laughs> there you go. I believe they're out of Maine. Pair of them. 80 bucks for the pair. Yeah, that one should do a hundred and a quarter by itself. Yeah, at least. Oh, it's Marie. It actually has somebody's name on it. Got some beautiful log cabin quilts here. Um, I was told that the center square, I think Sam told me, the center square represents the hearth, so it's usually red um, on these quilts. And then we have the lacquer bowls. I got another lot here of swung glass. There's a milk glass, there's a blue one in here. Uh, I think this one's amber. 
And then up here, we've got, I bought two Ethan Allen vases. I know that Ethan Allen furniture sells really good. Cat, the nurse flipper, has pretty good luck with that. Um, so I decided to buy these just because they were nice. I mean, this one's like a scavo design. And uh, this one has a nice pottery lines to it. And this lot. And, oh, I bought this lot for the fairy light. It's a Limoges fairy light. Um, we've got a little Russian lacquer box. That's kind of a nice one. And a beveled jewelry box. I didn't even notice that was beveled like that. That is quite nice. <laughs> All right. Here we have this beautiful Asian vase. I believe it's Kutani because of the reds um, and that mustard looking yellow. But I love the florals on this. It's a little bigger than I expected. And there's no signatures on the bottom. And the tiles. And Andrew was surprised they paid so much for these, but um, they're really, really good quality. And they are signed on the back. Jackfield English Iron Bridge. So my favorite one is probably this one. With the little itty bitty mushrooms. <laughs> so it looks like foxglove. Maybe. I don't know. But um, I was really pleased with the tiles. I didn't realize this, but apparently um, it's a panel and they all go together. Huh. It's even better. There you go. Stick that in there. Piece right here I recognized in the auction. I knew it was Ore Force. Um, you can kind of see it's merch there on the bottom. Um, this is a piece that I had once before and it reminded me so much of Juliet that I kept it. Um, and then it was Teacher Appreciation Week and I gave it to her kindergarten teacher. So now I have another one. I bought a whole bunch of vintage denim jeans. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. So we're gonna give those a shot. And then up here, Whole box, I'm not sure what that card is. Um, a whole box of owls. <laughs> He's very sweet. Made in Mexico. This one was the one I really liked. He's marked on the bottom, of course. There's actually two of them. They're kind of matchy matchy. And then this guy. We've had one very similar to him in the past, made in Indonesia. The kitties are kind of freaking me out a little bit. Um, and then these little guys. Lefton! Okay. They're so sweet! <laughs> so we got this whole box here. And then I was bidding on um, some silver. This has Larimar in it. Um, there were some decent pieces in this lot. I didn't go too crazy this week on jewelry. You have boxes? I have some in the But then here's the costume. There were certain pieces I wanted out of the costume that I have to find. And I'm not seeing them. I was looking in the wrong box. It was these little guys. They're very strange. They're on metal. Um, so I thought those pins were really neat. Uh, there was a car one that I spoke to. Oh, this one. Very deco looking in style. I don't know if they are actually deco or not. But the style was fantastic. Then we got these cows. <laughs> Quite a few cows, I think. Oh no, I was thinking of these guys. Made in Taiwan. So, I didn't pay too much for this lot. I want to say like about 30 bucks. But it was this and this. So Angela will go through all of this. She's really good with costume jewelry and just jewelry in general, so she'll be able to pick out the good pieces. Here we have Christmas decorations. I didn't realize they were marked on the back, but I thought those were so fun and vintage. <laughs> They're bigger than I thought, of course. Everything usually is. I don't really look at the dimensions as much as I should. This one. Merry Christmas and the angels. They're very like a, almost art deco in style. But they were cool. Kitties, which Andrew is wrapping up now. Let's see, there it is signed. Allison Busby. Something 1986. They're all cut out silhouettes of cats drinking out of a milk bowl. And then this guy too, he's signed. 
And there were a few others, but Andrew's already got to them. Can't really, something baits. Right. Kitty, kitty. All right, well, we are all loaded, mostly. There's like two more things. Uh, we filled the entire bed of the truck and the back seat. So it's kind of kind of crowded in here, but we got some good stuff. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get at Goodwill. Hopefully it's nothing large because, well, we're full. Um, but we're going to get out of here now, and we're going to head to the Goodwill. All right, well, it appears that they are actually replacing all of the shelving with this uh, metal wire shelving, and it always makes me so nervous with some of the stuff that's on here. Um, but we're going to see what we can find today. This right here is probably my favorite shelf. This looks like Ceramic Art Studio. Or maybe it's just a Bone China piece. That might actually be Bone China. They've got $3.50 on it. It's a pretty decent figurine, though, so I think we're going to grab that guy. He looks like she might be German. She's got pretty decent quality about her, and I'm surprised there's not any damage. At least I'm not seeing any damage. You guys are probably screaming at me that... Oh yeah, her foot. <laughs> there you go. This is kind of a neat looking piece, but you can tell it's like faux wear to kind of make it look chic. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna leave that one there. I'm not seeing a whole lot today on the shelves, but who knows, maybe we'll find something. See some Polish pottery here, but it looks like it was supposed to have a lid or something. Um, or no, you know what, maybe that's a, um, a planter because it has the drain hole in the bottom. How much is it? Oh, uh, five dollars and fifty cents. Well, maybe I'll grab that. It just needs an underplate. I think it is a planter. That looks like treasure craft. Let's check it out. This here. Oh, it's not marked on the bottom. It sure does look like treasure craft. It kind of looks like a barrel. Um, usually when I find it, it's pretty chipped up, but I think we'll grab that. Go. Here we have a Japanese piece, but unfortunately you can see there that it is missing its handles that I would have had. It's still a nice divided dish, but um, it's $3.50, and so for the missing pieces we're going to leave it. it. might be Italy. Uh, I can't tell. It says three piece, and there's only really one piece yeah. there. Here is $2.50. Um, it's a studio art pottery piece. You can see it's signed there, but I really love the colors of that bowl, so I think I'm going to take that bowl. Here we've got the sponge wire. There's no markings on it at all though. Um, and I think I'm gonna leave this guy behind to check out this. This is Iris and Herringbone. They've got it for $6.50. Um, this is Jeanette. Um, eh, there's not a whole lot of value in that. So it looks like they've traded out uh, the Christmas, well no, I lied. Um, there is Christmas here and we've got these plates still. A lot of you told me these were not actually spowed and they're not. You can see now that somebody else has peeled the sticker that they are Christmas Eve. Um, let's see what we've got here in the holiday section because I kind of skipped this one. We have here, Je Janice Fra Francoma, see it is Francoma, 1984. It's dated though, I don't know. I like the Santa. He's kind of a cool Santa. He looks like a he's, folk art Santa. He's oh. Got, <laughs> he, he's got his hand over his heart. Yeah. And he's got the, the early patriotic eagle on him. Yeah, oh that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's what I thought. That's kind of cool. I mean, Was it marked on the bottom? Or no, it's ceramic? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty, he's well done. Yeah. Our art pottery pieces here, and they are signed by the same artist, Hartman. This one unfortunately has a little bit of chipping on it. Um, so does this one. <laughs> Bummer. Let's check this one out. Um, that one doesn't have any chips on it. Uh, $2.50. Those look nice together. Um, back here, let's check these out and see if those are... Yeah, in fact, they are the same artist. Um, those ones don't have any damage on them, so uh, let's scoop those up. Set of four of that same color pattern bowls, and then this guy here, it's kind of like a pale blue and gray. I really like this pottery, so we'll take that with us. Got a pair of vintage candlesticks. They're three dollars and fifty cents each, but um, I like the vintage look to them. So we'll stick those here. It's a really neat mid-century style cabinet. It's seventy-five dollars. Unfortunately, like I said, our um, truck is completely full. Uh, it's got a few scuffs on it, but you could probably clean that up with a little old English. It's a nice piece, and seventy-five dollars seems like a good uh, good deal on it. 
especially if you wanted some place to display all your goodies. It's got all the shelving in here. Not something I'm going to be able to take with me today, but still neat. Before we take off, I decided I was going to check out the purses yeah. here and see if anything catches my eye. I do like this one here in the back, but um, it's got like a magnetic closure. I think it's just a handmade piece. Oh, we got this denim purse. Um, I'll let you know if I find anything. Looks to be a Junie and Burke. It's very yellowed though. The last time I looked at one of these, I left it behind because it was yellowed. Um, and I didn't verbalize that, so I'm letting you know. This one is very yellowed. I don't know if there's a way to bring that back because it's like, uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna pass on it because it's so yellowed. This one is kind of an interesting bag. Um, they sell for about 20 to 30 bucks. It's a NAS, N-A-S bag. I like the elephant on the front. It's very 1980s and I know the 1980s are becoming popular again, so. Um, I think I'm gonna grab this. I think they want like eight bucks for it though. So it's a little bit spendy, but I think it's the elephant that makes it. If it didn't have the elephant, I would probably leave it behind. I liked this purse. I guess it's Kathy Zealand. Um, you can see the difference between the fabric where it was closed over though. It's kind of dirty. And unfortunately it does have damage there. Um, so this one has to stay behind. Well, we're gonna go get in the checkout and I will get back to you with a total. All right, well, our total spend here at the Goodwill was $50. We got some really nice art pottery. I was very pleased with that. Um, a few of the pieces, I'm like, maybe I can, no. Stop it, Jocelyn, I do that every every shopping trip. Maybe I can keep that, but we'll probably just move it along. Um, yeah, and the purse is pretty cool too, I think. What was your favorite item, Andrew, the Santa? Uh, about the only thing I saw. <laughs> So, anyway, we're going to get out of here now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, going along to the auction with us, and then checking out the Goodwill. Well, this is a surprise. <laughs> um, it is 6.22 in the evening, and we are here at the shop. And the reason we're here at the shop is because our power has been out since 6.30 this morning. Um, and unfortunately for our birds, the house is really cold. So we had to gather them all up in the dark, get them in cages and bring them here to the shop so that they will stay warm. We have four parrots, for those of you who are new to the channel, and um, they don't like the cold. <laughs> it's like a general rule for parrots. So um, Andrew has them in the truck and he should be here any moment. But we just pulled in, I realized Tim is still here working. He is hard at work. So that was a surprise. So um, we've got Charlie and Pumpkin here in this cage. They love each other, um, they're partners and uh, they don't mind being <laughs> locked up together. Hello, Punky, are you gonna dance? Punky, 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 Punky. You gonna dance? Punky, 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 a little bit. A little bit. You're scared and, and not sure of things. <laughs> and then down here is baby Astrid. Hello, baby. How are you? You're not sure of things either. And then Hager's in a box. Hi, Hager. Good job, buddy. How was it? You good night night? I'm going to. You good night night? Night night in the box? Oh. <laughs> Isn't he cool? Hager. Hey, buddy. He's like, who are you? Hi, buddy. You good night night? Night night in the box? I know, yeah. <laughs> so besides having our power out for eh, 12 hours. I've got 29 packages I can't get labeled. Yeah, we have 29 packages and eBay is giving us an error message every time we try to print them. We've tried different browsers, we've tried different computers, we've tried logging out, we've tried logging on, and eBay is not allowing us. I can't even void the 10 labels that were already done. Label cannot be found, but if you come here, tracking number's there, you click on the tracking number, and it tells you that it's been provided. So that means I've got 10 customers that are expecting packages that I can't print labels for. And, and I'm afraid to do the next batch of 19 if I can't get these 10 out. So that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with no power and no labels 
and a cute Hager bird. What are you doing? Hello. And all this stuff is due out tomorrow. Plus another 20 due out tomorrow. Mm. What are you doing? Are you up to no good? I see you. <laughs> it was suggested it to try something that I didn't want to try because so you were uncomfortable we did, with it. So we did, and I pressured and, you, and it worked. So now you get to read off. Now it's my. And names that's my favorite prize. part. <laughs> that's my prize. Read off package weights. All right, here we so go. So you're gonna start over here and work your way. I think she does it like this. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> I brought the birds in here to hang out with me while I'm working on my video. Um, the Conyers were really stressed out, so I covered them up, but baby over there looks like she's ready to go to sleep. You okay? Just watching me? I see you. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.